According to the locals, this is the most dangerous road in Britain. The A537 connecting Macclesfield to Buxton. 1,700 feet above sea level, it cuts through some of Derbyshire's bleakest countryside. But with 83 corners in a 6.3-mile stretch, it's a favourite haunt of bikers. Unfortunately, it often comes back to haunt them. The so-called Cat and Fiddle Run is named after the pub that sits atop, and it carries a chilling memorial to those that have got carried away and crashed. But it ought to be possible to enjoy the challenge of this road safely and within the speed limit. And I'm hopefully going to prove it in a car billed as the driver's choice, the new Porsche Cayman S. It's the stepping stone between a Boxster and a 911. It costs £44,000 and has a 3.4-litre straight six buried in the middle. It'll do 171 miles an hour and get to 60 in 5.4 seconds. But today, we're not interested in those figures. Today is all about the simple pleasure of driving and trying to tame the Nürburgring of the Peak District. So, past the stone donut that marks the start of our cat and fiddle run. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is to put the rear wing up manually, because it doesn't actually come up automatically until you reach 75 miles an hour. We're not going that quick today. First major corner crested away, but oh, the steering feel just guides you into the apex almost without having to think about it. Light, delicate, full of feel, full of sensation that make driving at 45 miles an hour a joy. And then there's the seats. I know we often talk about racing seats, hip hugging that hold us in well, but I think the thing I can feel with these is that you're, you're attached to them for a lot more of your body. And so there's more of your body being told just what the car's doing underneath you, which again heightens that driving experience. Now this Cayman is actually stiffer than the Boxster S and it's got adaptive dampers which, if I press this little button, lower the car by 10 millimetres and make it stiffer still. But I can't tell any difference. Now I do have one more button to play with and that's the sport button which is supposed to sharpen up the throttle application. Well, it might be doing something, but to be honest, one of these things are so minimal that you only really notice them when you're looking at a stopwatch at a racetrack. So I've now got a stiff suspension, sharpened throttle, the wing up, but I'm sure if I switched all of those off, I'd be going just as quick. Oh, a little twitch of oversteer. Now, interestingly there, the traction control here, the PSM, actually allows a certain amount of slip, so it's not always interrupting you before you get anywhere near the limits. But then once the car slightly steps out of line, in it cuts to save your day. It's so greasy. Most cars here will be wallowing into corners with understeer and snapping sideways and getting their drivers into trouble. But here, it's such a well-balanced, poised driving machine that nothing untoward seems to be happening. More corners. Oh, oh s***! You know, someone nearly pulled out right. Unbelievable! They were just coming out. If something had come the other way, then I would have had no road to go on. Driving even at totally legal speeds, it's still dangerous. But just to remind you about your mortality, a hearse just went the other way. Oh, concentrative.
just flowing through the bends. Don't break too late and harsh. Break a bit early, gently, then progressively harder. Turn in gently and progressively. And the same with the power. You don't throw the weight of the car from one wheel to the other. You don't abuse its grip. Treat a car gently. It will reward you. Just pick up a rhythm. You can do that. You can really enjoy roads like these. And there at the top of the hill is our journey's end. The famous cat and fiddle pub. What a drive. Oh, speed bumps. Back to reality.